Now for this question, we're given that the natural log of y equals 2x times the natural log of x, where x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0. And what we've got to do is find the gradient when x equals 2. So if we're to find the gradient, this is going to be essentially to find dy by dx when x is 2. So we need to differentiate this equation. So if I just write differentiate with respect to x, because it doesn't start off with y, so we can't just go in and write dy dx equals. So I'm going to have to write differentiate with respect to x. Now if we're differentiating this with respect to x then, we're going to need to do implicit differentiation. So I'm assuming that you are happy with that. If not, there's plenty of tutorials on my website on this. So first of all, differentiating the natural log of y with respect to x, we do it by differentiating with respect to y first of all, so we therefore have 1 over y. But because we're differentiating a function of y with respect to x, we need to finish off by writing dy by dx. Okay? Implicit differentiation then. When we come to differentiating 2x times the natural log of x, we have to use the product rule because we've got two functions of x being multiplied together. The green one and the red one. So in the usual way what we do is we take one of these functions, let's say the 2x, and multiply it by the differential of the other function. Differential of, of natural log of x is going to be 1 over x. And then we plus and we do it the other way around. We take the natural log of x, this red function here, natural log of x, and multiply it now by the differential of 2x, which is 2. So if we tidy this up and we, we've got dy by dx, let's just say we've got 1 over y at this stage, 1 over y dy by dx equals, and then if we tidy this term up, we've just got 2, because the x is cancel, and here I'm going to put the 2 in the front of the natural log of x, so we've got 2 natural log of x. And now if we multiply both sides by y, we end up with therefore dy by dx equals, we could put out 2 as well actually, so we've got 2y multiplied by 1 plus the natural log of x. Now we've got this far, we need to just substitute when x is 2 into here, but unfortunately we've got a y here, and we don't know what y is when x is 2, so we're going to need to obviously work that out. So when x is 2, okay, if we just substitute this into our equation up here, let's just number this one here. If we've got room, we can just stick a 1 there, okay? So we get the natural log of y, therefore the natural log of y equals 2 times 2, which is 4 natural log of 2, 4 natural log of 2. And before we can anti-log this, we need to get rid of this 4. So we can use the power rule for logs. We can say that the natural log of y equals the natural log of 2 to the power 4. 2 to the power 4 is 16, so we have the natural log of y equals the natural log of 16. Now that we've got two terms, each of them with a natural log, anti-logging gives us therefore y equals 16. So if we substitute these values now into this equation here, number 2, okay, we can say that, let's just say sub x equals 2, y equals 16 into equation 2, and what we have is that therefore dy by dx equals 2 times y, 2 times 16 is 32, multiplied by 1 plus the natural log of 2 when x is 2. And there you go dy by dx then, the gradient of the curve at the point where x equals 2.